All right, Rob, you got something else to say what? about Damian Lillard. Okay. We know uh, it's been a disappointment in, in Milwaukee, and we've said it, and Dame wanted out. Now, he didn't want to go to Milwaukee, but he wanted out, wanted to go to a contender where he had a chance to win the championship. No better place to go than uh, Milwaukee with Giannis Antetokounmpo. But, Rob, it has been a disaster, and now Giannis is hurt and uh, expected to miss game one this weekend against Indiana. And the Bucs are in serious danger of going out in the first round. What is this? Does this say anything to you about Damian Lillard? I, I think he's been exposed. Like, wow. this was supposed to be Chris. People were so excited when that trade went down. People were like, this is a perfect a match made in heaven. Are you kidding? Right. Like this Including is what, Dame and, and Giannis. And Giannis. Everybody thought it was Chris. Oh my God. They he got what he wanted. He got to go play with, with a type of player who's going to enhance his game and they go together like peanut butter and jelly. Yep. Yep. Really? Yep. And Milwaukee was going to be the bread. It was all set. And Chris, you just said it. Disastrous. It hasn't been. You can't look at anything other than the what? The five or six game winning streak they had uh, yeah, man, went, went I mean, in the middle yeah. of Doc's um, yep. since Before he took it over. Went south, yeah. But look at the bad losses. Yep. You can't. Those guys are healthy. Those both of those guys are playing. There's no reason they should be as bad as as they have been with people not looking forward to them in the postseason and looking like. And obviously Giannis being out now, but even going right. into that, before that, Chris, no one was feeling like something special was going to happen in this postseason. This was Boston's all the way, and they were an afterthought, and they weren't supposed to be. They were supposed to be uh, on the big stage. They were supposed to be uh, on the on the marquee, that this duo was supposed to make noise and could upset the Celtics. And, yep. and and change the Eastern Conference and and be like, look at what we put together and look who we are. And none of it's happened. You know what's interesting, Rob? A lot of the super teams, or and this wouldn't be a super team, they only have two superstars, but a lot of the player maneuvering, the only, it's, I mean, I'm thinking, and, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, it's worked for LeBron with the Miami group. Um, Cleveland, you know, he did get uh, Kevin Love there. So that worked. They got one ring. And in L.A., he got A.D. there. That worked for one ring. Kevin Durant obviously worked. Um, no, Nothing against Durant. I think any really great, good player would have worked. That team was that good. Um, and other than that, Rob, Kawhi and Paul George, failure. Kevin Durant to Brooklyn with all those guys, Harden and Kyrie, failure. Kevin Durant to Phoenix, thus far, failure. Dame to Milwaukee to play with Giannis, thus far, failure. There have been some uh, Car Carmelo forcing his way to New York. Oh, and then here comes Amari, yep. failure. Most of these situations, and I know I'm probably missing a couple, Rob, have not worked out. And, and you look at Denver, Rob, that team, when you look at that roster, and you mentioned it earlier uh, when we were talking about Jokic, no, he doesn't have an all-star teammate. Now, we all understand Jamal Murray's that caliber of player, but the, the fact is he hasn't made an all-star team. You look at that roster, individually, they're not scaring you. Aaron Gordon was viewed as a slight disappointment in, by, in Orlando, right? Because he was a, a lottery pick. Um, K KCP, you know, he he's not scaring anybody. He's a role player. Kentavious Caldwell Pope. Uh, Jamal Murray, obviously very good, but yet still hasn't made an all-star team. And then you've got Michael Porter Jr., who is talented, but, you know, he had the back issues. My point, Rob, is this. That's a team. That's a team. And they play team basketball, and we expect them to win the West. And it's not always about 
let me just get this great, all these great individual players together. Guys have to fit together. Right. And they have to understand their role, be comfortable in their role, and be a star in their role, as a lot of players say. And so, um, yeah, Dame, Rob, like we said it, he was he had the great situation up there in Portland because he wasn't under the microscope. He could get his points. They could win enough, right? Nobody expected anything of them except get to the playoffs. They get there. They get bounced fairly quickly. One time he got to the conference finals. Two other times he got to the second round. And, and everybody blamed it on everybody else. Oh, Dame doesn't have any help. And now people are looking at him. Now he will get another year. But Rob, if next year is similar to this year, you know, assuming they go out in the first or second round this year, uh, it, it's it's gonna it's not gonna people are going to really reevaluate Damian Lillard. Still I, gonna I, be a I, Hall of Famer. I agree though. There will yeah. be evaluation because and and you could make it the first year and and the changing of coaching and all that and Giannis got hurt. Yep. And you could do all that. Another year, Chris, then then you got an issue. Yeah. And and I actually think he will he he will or is getting somewhat of a pass this year because of the coaching change. Doc now, Rob, is gonna get a lot of the criticism, right? And Giannis is hurt. And like we said already, standards have been lowered. But you know, Dame, there was talk. Uh, he kind of is on Steph's level, right? The difference is he's not, you know, with that super team in Golden State. Well, now it's looking like, no, he's not on that level. He's great, but he's not on that that level. The top 75, it already was controversial, Rob. I mean, Kyrie, Clay Thompson, right? It's, it's, really, it's, even, it's even more now. I mean, right. I'm telling you. It's, right. Because so, we, we questioned it at the time. Yeah. I, I did. It, 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 yeah, we, we talked about Kyrie. And I get it. It's an argument. But if Dame doesn't make good in in uh, Milwaukee this year or next year, and, and Rob, a, a, if he doesn't do it with this year or next year, at that point he'll be like 35, 36 right. years old. So you would think he's not going to do it. And then there's even talk that Giannis – you know, if they get bounced now, granted, Giannis is hurt. I don't know. I, I don't know how it, he yeah, can. I, I, Chris, right, I, right. I'm serious. Like, what he would be asking out for what reason? Like, right. like seriously. Yeah, you, you got you, hurt. You can't really. You got know. hurt, and ain't no way the Bucks brought in Doc Rivers without you agreeing to that. Now, you, anybody can sit here and tell you that he had no input on that. I don't buy it. Right, right. I don't. No, it, it's – um. we said this, Rob, in fairness – we said this when Dame went to Milwaukee, and I did like the trade. But I said, look, if they don't get it done, then, you know, Dame is going to have to face the heat. If you win, it's going to be awesome. It's going to boost your already terrific legacy. But if you don't even get to the finals, a team, Rob, that won the finals, they won it already. Right? It was a few years ago, but they did win it. Yep. That just makes it even worse. And so, yeah. And I and I I'll say this before we open it up to the listeners, Rob. And I get it. I think it's real and it's unfortunate if Dame is unhappy in Milwaukee. Right? He's talked about that. He's going through a divorce. He's not he's lonely, lonely, I guess. Or I unhappy. get it. Right. I get that. You're not there but, with your kids, Chris, and, right. and your wife and your wife and things are going sour. I get that. But but you know what? That's not an excuse because there are players all over the league and all over the leagues going through divorces, going through baby mama drama, going through just Bumps scandalous and types. Yeah, yeah, whatever it might be. Issues with your children and you have to play through it. And they do. And and even your average person, Rob, you, have, you still got to show up to work. You and I, if we were going through some crazy stuff, we still have to show up to, to work and be vibrant and be funny, right? Yep. And, and be like, everything's good. That's that's being a professional. So while I feel for Dame in that, you know, issues in his personal life, I don't want to hear it as any type of excuse. And I, in fairness, he's not making an excuse, but some might make that excuse for him. And I don't think that's fair.